hello guys i welcome back to my channel maison african motives are still working on derivatives so we are given the question where we are supposed to differentiate with respect to x from first principles okay so this is question which is taken from one of the question papers from uh, netted uh, engineering uh, info so let's see how we can apply the first principles for y is equal to a x squared plus b x plus c uh, and we've got five marks for that all right so let's see the, the number of marks and uh, what you're supposed to if it can apply so if you're new to my channel you can consider subscribing so that you won't miss any of the classes that you'll be having from Mason african motives okay so we're given y is equal to a x squared plus v x plus c okay remember that when you're applying first principles supposed to be the derivative of y with respect to x um the one is the one that you want to calculate okay so let us just write the formula y x is equivalent to so it's a limit that you shall have when h is approaching to zero like this where you've got f of x plus h minus f of x all right this is what you have on this formula so i hope this formula we all understand this where we got uh f of x plus h and f of x is where f of x is this part here the normal expression that you are given uh from the normal quadratic expression that you have that is the one that represents your f of x so in this case your f of x is the normal a x squared plus b x plus c all right then you need f of x plus h so f of x plus h in place of x you have to substitute x plus h okay so it's a into x plus h to the exponent of 2 plus b into x plus h plus c all right like that okay let's see guys what was going to happen here x plus h squared uh, actually means you're going to expand these two brackets x plus h into x plus and we are guys we are used to this bracket remember it's going to, from uh, a plus b squared you have to expand so you're going to obtain a squared plus 2ab plus b squared from this identity so it's the same thing that i did that you're applying so if you expand properly you're going to obtain a into x squared plus 2xh plus h squared all right this is what you're going to obtain from this part you've got the b let's expand by b by, e by x which is bx b times h which is bh plus c all right let's stretch further x plus h which is going to be a is going to multiply everything so it's a x squared a times 2 x h so it's going to be 2 a x h all right a and h squared which is going to be plus a h squared like that and this part is going to remain as it is which is b x plus b h plus c as we can see here we do not have any uh, any like terms we have we do not have these are uh, not like terms so if i have my f of x plus h from this expansion and uh, from these brackets what am i going to do now i have to substitute into the formula that i have uh, written before of uh, f of x plus h okay so remember we wrote this formula here so that means my dy dx in this case now is going to be limit as h is approaching to zero like this okay so this h is approaching to zero there your f of x plus h you write everything this whole part that you obtained here so you have to write everything there that we obtained all right so we are going to have a x squared from this part that you obtained here so it's a x squared plus 2 a h a x h plus a h squared like this plus b x plus b h plus c all right so you write everything that you obtained then uh, you're supposed to subtract minus f of x all right so this is b this is a this is 2a all right so take note guys what you're supposed to do in this case is uh to subtract so you're supposed to subtract this f of x which is a x squared plus b x plus c so take note once you subtract like this so it's going to be minus into a x squared plus b x 
plus c like this so if there is a minus this minus is going to affect everything so it's minus times a x squared which is minus a x squared so this one you just need to write as minus okay minus times bx which is uh, minus bx okay and we move on to another part which is minus times c which is negative c so this is what you're going to obtain and everything everything guys is still over h like this so this is what you're going to have now let's move on uh, from this part we have got dy dx which is equivalent to limit remember we do not apply the limit of h is equal to un unless we get rid of this h in the denominator we still have this so there's no need okay so let's move on let's collect like terms if possible if they are like terms okay ax squared minus ax squared these two can cancel ax squared minus is going to give us a zero all right we move on which other part bx here and bx so it's bx minus bx so bx minus bx will cancel all right you got c and minus c so this is c this is minus c can cancel all right so we are going to remain with this part here which is 2 axh plus a h squared plus this part here with b h so as you can see the all all the other parts they've cancelled you just left with this one and this one and this one everything over h all right so here there are two ways that you can actually do it you can uh, divide everything by h by h each and every term or you can just factor out the h all right you can just factor out the h here because it's common throughout so if I factor out this H, I'm going to remain with 2AX plus factor out the H here. I'm going to remain with AH plus BH divided by H equals to be positive B. Everything of H like this. All right. So H and H now can cancel. Remember, that is the condition that I want. So once these two cancel like this, you're going to remain with limit H is approaching to zero like this of 2 a x plus a h plus b like this this is what you're going to have where now you can apply this condition to say h is now approaching to zero so if h is approaching to zero like this this is what you're going to have this whole part is going to be a zero so which means we shall remain with 2 a x because here on this part there is no h so there's nothing that you're going to substitute also in b we do not have h here so there's nothing that you're going to substitute here. you're going to substitute only on this part where is a h in place of h you substitute a zero because it's no longer in the denominator all right so therefore your dy dx now is going to be after substituting this as you can see this is a zero so you're going to obtain 2ax plus b all right so this is going to be 2ax plus b something like this